Hello. Hmm, I'm not sure I like that lighting. Hello. Welcome back to. Uh, oh, that's fallen over. Hello, and welcome back to the project box. The project box. Good. Um, so, the last episode we went shopping for parts to build Rusty. Today we're going to do nothing to do with Rusty because I feel like this series needs to get across the fact that I procrastinate a lot and that uh, I won't stay on the same build throughout. I'm going to jump about and do all sorts of things. So, yeah, it's been too long since I've worked on uh, this lovely tornado toy. So I thought today I would work on this lovely tornado toy. That is warm. Hmm. Tornado. Now I'm going to be bold and I'm going to say this is going to be done today. That requires me to do a few things. It's still not structurally there. Um, and what I mean by that is that it won't fit the wheels, basically. Um, so what do I need to do to it? Well, the other night, I must admit, the other night I did work on this a little bit. Um, the other night I cut out the wheel holes a bit more. These are much bigger than they should be. Ignore this hole and, and that hole. Other things were there and I decided to cut them out and now there's holes. And I'm going to fill them at some point with something and I don't quite know what. But anyway, yeah, so I cut the wheel holes out uh, and I made a start on the top as you can see this wheel is disappearing because we don't want hard plastic at the back we want it to actually move if it's turned over um, if at all possible so we're gonna try and do that uh, what else have I got in the box oh, I've got some wheels I shouldn't really lock that while I'm working on this thing Ugh. anyway um, yeah I've got some wheels nobody asked your opinion got some wheels that we're going to use two of. It's going to be two-wheel drive, if you hadn't already guessed. Um, that is because I am lazy. The things I need to do, I need to dremel out uh, the top because I tried it with these snippy things and these snippy things just aren't going to cut it. <laughs> Dumb tish. Good. Let's get to work, eh? This is a Jeb and you're not in shot video. Good. Glad I know what we're doing. Tornado. No, you, that's not in shot either. Some questions need asking. First things first. Is it a beetle? Is it an ant? Will it actually work? No. No. Probably not. Glad we got that out of the way. Um. It's, it's not any of those things, it's something new, weird and scary. Um, right, what I am going to start off by doing is using the snippies, uh, I know I said I wouldn't, but the inside of this, we've got a section here, upright section, that needs to go. So we're going to snip that out and that's what we're doing. What have we done? We've broken a toy. So I've got this section up to the same point. We've got a hole there, hole there. Uh, we've removed all the sort of insides, all of the upright sections that would have got in the way. Um, the next job I want to do is to try and remove this top panel because I, I don't really want that on there when I'm trying to cut further into it because I don't want it to break uh, in random places, sort of crack across here. So screwdrivers, let's give that a go. Or, you know, failing that, just be really, really careful because I can't get the screws out. Um, some of them look in a bad way. 
and the others are just really, really tight. So, you know, there's nothing you can do there. Not going to waste time. Move on. Move on. Dremel. Dremel London. Get the London look. You chuck that in there. Chuck it in the chuck. Tighten that up. And then there's a... There should be a spanner or something. Tighten this. But I'm going to do it by hand. Because I'm a big man. Also the spanner's there. No, always use the spanner because you don't want this thing flying off into your face. Treat the Dremel with respect. No, it should be nice and tight. Cool. Let's give her a go. I'm petrified of this thing. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan. But I know what I've got to do with it. God. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's plug her in. If you're wearing headphones, this is a noise warning. This thing is loud. So do turn down the volume or pump up the volume. Depends what you want. I forgot how much I dislike doing this. <laughs> okay, here we go. The biggest issue that you have with this is that it melts the plastic so that half the time you're cutting you're also melting it which is not helpful in any way shape or form right I need to look at to see where I'm cutting to oh, it would be right back there wouldn't it so I've actually got to go into this top plastic. But I think with a high speed cutty thing, that should be okay. should separate it just enough for me to remove it there we go whoop pop that down there lovely two wheels or fake wheels removed uh, and now this just needs a bit of neating up before I try and see if the wheels fit so after a little more dremeling a little more snippy snip and a little bit of filing as well we have ourselves a little tornado that has some holes that should be able to fit the wheels. There they are, look, you can see they go all the way through. They're a decent size. Moment of truth then is seeing whether the wheels will stick out of either side. And for that, I need to take it all apart again, which is getting a bit boring, but it's quick. Uh, I also, I want to come up with a solution of how I can attach the back piece so that it's holding everything in place a bit better. Obviously when it's done, there will be four screws on the underside holding in there, there, there and there. Um, but there needs to be something at the back as well. I've removed some bits to, you know, so that I can fit electronics and uh, that means that it's less stable than it was. It used to have two things inside the battery compartment. Obviously the battery compartment is no longer a battery compartment, it is just a flat surface. It's just a bit of the robot. It's become 
part of the base because it needed to uh, for this to work. With that in mind, let's see if the wheels fit. Two of those. These are uh, model aeroplane wheels. They're made of foam. They have a little hole in the middle that is just slightly larger than an N20 motor. I'm hoping that hot glue and prayer will, will make that fine. Um, I also am reminded that I need to file down the base section as well. Right, one wheel, two wheel. The first task will be trying to get the lid on without moving the wheels too much. There we go. Okay, where are they sitting? They are sitting... It's very close. Uh, I think if it runs, it'll be a miracle, upside down. But it doesn't look too shabby. It, it looks all right. Good. Okay. So you heard me mention N20s. That is because this is going to be using N20 motors. It is basically... An, this is why I've said, is it an ant or is it a beetle? It's the size of a small beetle. It has the runnings of a large ant. Um, N20s and all. We have holes, we have wheels, probably time to do some electronics. But first, I need to make a base. And this base needs to be so that I can mount some N20 motors on the inside. Uh, they're gonna be on a shelf. That is the plan here. So without further ado, shelf time. So to make the shelf, I've got this clear plastic. Uh, it used to be part of like a, a tray file thing that you put in and out things um what i'm going to do i'm actually going to use the uh, dremel to cut this because i think it'll be easier and crack less than if i try to use snippers or scissors to do it so uh, i'm going to do that i will need to make it a, a bit shallower because obviously at the minute it's about in fact it's thicker than one side of uh one side of this so yeah, need to sort that out. Um, but yeah, that is the plan. That, by the way, has been my favourite thing about No More Spinners so far. The fact that, without any discussion, we adopted spinner-proof titling. Yes. It's the best way to title things. It's, like, it's a complete rip-off of an existing series, right down to the graphics. But we changed that one thing. <laughs> yeah. And there was never a conversation about it. It was just done. Shelf. So we have a certain level of shelf that can go inside the robot. We have a certain level of wheel that we can, you know, mount up. Um, everything is going reasonably well. So we're due something to go wrong now. And that thing that went wrong was me losing track of time. Um, had to record something with uh, with Mr. Psycho Mike and uh, strangely enough Ryan from Spinnerproof, um, who helped me along the way with today's build, um, with with an episode of Spinnerproof just on in the background because it's my favourite build podcast. It makes me want to build things, so that's all good. Um, got a bag of bits, including the shelf, battery, all the electronics and stuff. Um, yeah. That is all ready to go in, but I don't have time now. Um, it is the end of the holidays, and this will have to wait until maybe the weekend. I don't know. Maybe an evening. Who knows? Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, give it a like. Do subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I shall see you next time. Hopefully I might finish this again.